Our good friend Laura Schwartz is here, and she has brought some props. Every time we go cover the conventions or the debates, we have to talk about all the tchotchkes that are popping up. You know, and every debate has different tchotchkes, and not only was there huge political spirit on this campus, but in the bookstore, we found some really great things that were selling off the shelf. Now, I think my personal favorite is the magnetic Barack Obama. Oh. Now, he must be a little cold, because, <laughs> you know, this we should probably dress him up. We can go with the, uh, the casual look. Okay. You know, little jeans and a shirt, but I think most people are really enjoying Join the Hawaiian shorts. It makes sense. And of course, with the lay. Yeah, maybe we, um, we should cover him up a little bit. I kind of feel bad right? for him. And then, of course, he can always go from Clark Kent oh. to superhero. Oh. Whoops, that doesn't stand with that. But of course, if you want to go Barack Obama Superman, he comes with a hat. Look at that. So you can change them completely, you know. I have a feeling that the dorm rooms have a few of these on their mini fridges. Well, let me see. Anybody have the Barack Obama yep. magnet? Anybody own it? <laughs> well, somebody you was want buying it them. now, right? <laughs> I know, I know. Do now they have a John McCain to... magnet too? Uh, no, they actually don't. They okay. just so so. I guess um, this is just the more popular one, but of course not among our guests. Okay. But what else? one of a great thing that they did is they took the map, the electoral map from. And you oh, see, it's very okay. red. So if you want to turn it blue, you add a little hot water, hot coffee. Whoops, and it should turn blue. Let's see. It's the magic cup, and a lot of people. This, this is, is what the Democrats are hoping will magic happen in, the in election. politics. What it's we are accomplishing in this month. Not turning blue. Okay, we'll yes, there back. we go. We'll it's starting back. to turn blue. All right, this is good. Let me see. Now, can you see it? Wait, I want to see. It's starting to turn blue, like around the edges. All right, well, we'll check back in a bit. Here's Otherwise, we'll just get somebody with a marker quick. Okay, <laughs> now, of course, there's nothing like action figures. And okay. they have the John McCain action figure, the Barack Obama action figure. They move. You can make them run. They can get in a little fight. We'll talk about that later. That's always fun. New this year, never done before, IDW Publishing, who does the Star Trek comic books. They do the Transformer comic books. They have made a comic book. Now, this comes out October 8th, but mm -hmm. they have it here on campus. You've got two sides. John McCain, you open it up and it's all biographical information, done with some really neat cartoon coloring. John if McCain you flip will it like over, he looks he looks great. Big and powerful and you like know? a superhero. Well, and then so does Barack Obama. Ah, so okay. you've got both sides, both candidates, nonpartisan, get good educational information in there. Then of course, what is an election without Pez dispensers? Mm -hmm. And then of course the traditional cookies, and these are politic cards. Okay. So as they're gambling on campus, they've got the cards. We have to get to this because this is the most bizarre thing. We have I never promise. seen Rock. <laughs> Sockum, sockum robots in real life. But Lee Cordova here at the university has made these with the Engineering Council. Lee, you're all engineering students? We are, and we took this uh, toy and built life-size uh, versions of them. Uh, and yeah, the red versus blue, we built them for a uh, student carnival. Uh -huh. uh, but since they're colored so perfectly for the vice presidential debates, we thought we'd bring them out yesterday and have them out on campus so Was we could play. Was this an engineering feat for you? How long did it take to it accomplish? It definitely did. We took uh, about 500 man hours to build these things. Wow. Uh, probably about $1,000 and a lot of work over a year and a half. Can you show us how they work? What's sure. the object of the game as we watch this? So the heads will actually uh, knock off as uh, oh. one of the robots will win. So whoever knocks off the head first wins. Right, right. All right, all right, let's see. Will it be Joe oh. Biden? Oh, Sarah Palin Sarah got a good Palin Take the win. Oh, Sarah Palin <laughs> won a little reaction this from the fight. Crowd. That much we can say. The debate, that's up to you. Let's go back to New York.